Today you're joining me in my kitchen for another meal prep video. Today we are preparing 14 days worth of food for Venus, our new puppy. Now we already introduced Venus in a previous video and today this video is actually filmed before we even got her. So we are preparing her first 14 days worth of food. So let's start off with the organs. Then we will continue with the bone and meat and then we'll be adding the muscle meat afterwards. So here we have our organ meat. We have both beef, kidney and chicken livers and that will be Venus's organ for the next two weeks. And I will be adding 5% for both of these ingredients, adding up to 10% in organ in her entire diet. Now usually I do not use scales, but in this case I will be using them because puppies need a, a balanced diet on a daily basis. So I have 14 containers and I will be filling them up with organ, then the bone and meat and then the muscle meat. Now I'm just going to grab one container, place it on the scales, press tear and then add approximately 22 or 23 grams of each organ. Now one day I might have a little bit more of each and that's quite alright, I will just, I want to balance it as much as I can. I will make sure that every container has a similar, similar amount of organ of each kind. Okay, time lapse. So, that's the organs done, now it's time for the bone-in meat. So the second ingredient that we have is chicken necks and I use this because I was looking for chicken wings but they, uh, the people that I ordered my meat from didn't stock them this week so I um, got some chicken necks. They're very small and yeah, quite easy to fit into a puppy's mouth and I hope that she can chew on them um, and I didn't go for duck wings or duck necks because the duck necks are too hard and the duck wings are too large. Um, they would add too much bone to one meal for her, so I'm going with the chicken necks now. So here we have 850 grams of chicken necks, and they have approximately 75% bone and 25% meat, and I will I will be uh, spreading those out over these containers, and it might be that one container has a bit more or a bit less. Um, but that's fine. I'm not going to cut them up because that will create sharp, sharp edges and I do not want that, especially for a puppy. So um, that will make the meals a little bit different for, for some days compared to others. But I think it's most important to um, have the organs completely balanced and that the bone content differs a little bit. It's, it's not too bad. Um, but we're just going with the perfect amount of organ and uh, someday she might have a little bit more meat compared to bone and the other way around as well. Okay, time for another time lapse. Okay, so here is the first protein or meat source of um, this meal prep and we have wild shot deer. So I will be adding that to all containers. Okay, the second type of meat that we have is beef cheek. Um, it looks very gross and I will not show it up close, but if you're interested in knowing what it looks like, just Google beef cheek or cow cheek and look for the images. <laughs> it's quite odd looking. Okay, another time lapse. Then now we have the third protein, which is ground hair. And this is the final protein and the final ingredient, and that is wild goose. So that was the entire meal prep. It was quite quick and easy. Um, it included quite some ground meat because that's easy for puppies to chew. 
um, and it does have some meat and some bone so um, they do practice the chewing because that's quite important um, and Venus has also been fed raw ever since she was weaned so uh, she is used to the ground meat she will just have to get used to chewing bone as well um, but the video won't stop here I will um, show you guys the first three meals that she has on the first day of her being with us we will be picking her up on Friday, it's Wednesday now, and on Friday she will have some pre-made raw in the evening. And then on Saturday, Saturday morning, she will have her first pre-made raw meal, which, is be, which will be a third of these containers. And then on the afternoon she will have another third, and then in the evening she will have the rest. And that's how we will be feeding her. Mojo will probably still be fed once a day, although she might get quite jealous, this, so perhaps we will be giving her three meals as well, not sure yet, but um, yeah. So I hope you like this and stay tuned for footage of Venus eating her raw meals.